My name is Tim Bieber. I'm the business and technology editor of BBC News Interactive. The main thing that uh, my team and I do is the BBC News websites, business and technology pages. Um, I've been told that nobody has tried uh, to answer this one key question. What is the main reason why Europe is in crisis? Um, I'll give it a shot. I'm not quite sure I can really explain it in that great detail because there are a lot of things that have gone wrong. The main reason, though, I think is something that one could call irrational exuberance when it comes to sorting out your finances. What have you got here? We've got households that get cheap credit that think, oh, everything is good, and who do not know the meaning of the word down, that things could slow down. And as a result of that, uh, they take out mortgages. They take out loans. And I'm not talking that much about governments. A lot of governments got that wrong as well. But we're talking about households. This is the biggest problem. Household debt in quite a number of countries exploded. And because it exploded, <coughs> they said, oh, we need more salaries. We need higher salaries. So they demanded higher salaries. And the companies thought, oh, we're getting cheap credit as well. So yes, we pay our workers much, much more. And suddenly you got this weird spiral of job uh, of, of, of uh, the, the cost of employing people arising. Um, people taking on more debt because they oh yeah my salary is going up there I can take on even more debt. And then comes the crunch point yeah. when this suddenly stops. You will find out that because your salary went up a lot. You're not competitive anymore. And you're especially not competitive against Germany. Because in Germany, they didn't do this. In Germany, which was probably your biggest competitor uh, within the European Union, uh, they kept wages flat, absolutely flat, for nearly a decade. While in Spain, in Italy, in Greece, in other countries, Portugal, Ireland, wages exploded, and people made really irrational Buying decisions, lending decisions, buying decisions. When I say lending decisions, now we come to the second problem, of course, which are the banks. Where the banks say, oh, well, it's easy to get money, it's cheap to get money, so we're very happy to give money to people who, frankly, one probably shouldn't give money to, where they don't properly think about the risk they have in lending, and also where the banks don't properly think about the risk they have in borrowing money, where more and more of the operation is not financed by the savings they have in, but they go to the money markets, because their money is plentiful and money is cheap. But what if something triggers that this money disappears? Then you get the exact equivalent of what happens when you play with dominoes and you tip one of those dominoes and one after the other falls. Now you can do that at every level. You can do that with mortgages, as we've seen with the subprime crisis in the United States and then went straight into Europe. We've seen that with Greece, where one country uh, goes gets into trouble and then you have the domino effect for all the other countries where you think, well, they have a similar situation, so the, the, there's an issue. And, and then you get a really vicious circle where one bit of bad news accelerates the other, and it's very difficult to stop this downward spiral. If you can't stop the downward spiral, then you get a long-term crisis. Uh, have you put a floor into this crisis, into, into the whole thing? No, I don't think it has happened yet. I think it will be quite some time to we're anywhere close to this. Um, but we may have, just right now, got a few firewalls in that hopefully calms things a little bit down. So I think it was exuberant, people not thinking about risk, not thinking about the future properly for consumers, for banks, for companies, a lot of people guilty, and when people say, oh, it's the banks, you see, it's the banks, it's, it's the consumers. There are always quite a lot of fingers pointing at yourself when you do that. That's, that would happen. Everybody got it wrong, and everybody was very, very careless, and that's why we're in the mess we are.